Okay, as you can see here, I've set up a few pieces to demonstrate how the magnets work with the pieces attached. Uh, before any of that, we'll start with just the magnet itself. Now these are just a typical ceramic magnet, as you can see here. And attached, actually glued to each side, is a metal plate. Because the magnet by itself is not very strong. What gives it its strength is actually gluing these plates that you see here on each side. And that increases the holding power of this magnet uh, significantly. Uh, moving on, we're going to go to these stands. These are 5 inch stands. And use, these are primarily used to hold fuselage sides. And typically what you do is you take a triangle or, or something that's you know is 90 degrees true and you hold this against here and then you tighten it down on this bolt over here and that gives you your perfect alignment to the surface that you're building and that's the key I guess the key point is that you're aligning to the surface you're building to so you know that you're making it true to whatever you're building the surface on now typically what you do I'll just show you with an example of a plywood uh, sheet here I don't have the other one aligned, but just to give you an idea, these would be set up perfectly 90 degrees. And from that, you would be holding your fuselage side perpendicular to the surface, giving you the best possible alignment and giving you the straightest fuselage side, which, of course, is an important element to building any kind of RC aircraft. Next, we're looking at the hold downs. And these primarily are used, as you can see, to hold down a uh, stick of balsa. Maybe it's a leading edge or you have a stringer um, that needs to be held down to the base of whatever you're building on. Uh, but mostly it's, it's a great way to hold down a piece of wood. And if, it's, if it has any kind of uh, defect or a bow, these will help hold it down true to your surface. And here's a, an example of what one looks like. It's just a uh, plastic block with a step on it and that step as you can see goes down here and you can see that it holds along the wood and I'll show you right here like that that holds it down and it keeps it straight and flat and true and of course if you just have a magnet by itself don't forget you can use that in terms of holding it against another surface. You can either hold it down this way and that doesn't have as much holding power which for some parts that are more delicate you want just a little bit of pressure to hold it or you can hold it for its full holding power like that and now your part is secure and it's not going anywhere. The magnet does a very good job of clamping these two surfaces together. So there's a lot of things that you can do with the magnets is just kind of limited to what your imagination comes up with when it comes to building a fixture or a jig. All right, let's move on over here to the uh, some wing ribs that I have set up with a uh, spar on the top here, and I'm going to show you how this vise over here is used to build and hold parts down properly. All right, so here's the vise. Basically, what it is is a long carriage bolt attached to a plate that's then attached to a 90 degree uh, angle plate that is then secured by magnets here on the sides. And the thing you can do, you can really beef up the strength of this by adding more magnets. You could add up to eight. You could add two on each side here and two on each side here, giving you eight magnets to really increase the holding strength of this vise. Uh, two by itself is very strong. In most cases it does a very good job of securing what you need. In this case it's the holding the spar down and securing it to the top and then just simply screwing that down to secure this in place. So that's one use for this vise and that's typically what it's used for but again it's not it's only limited to what else you could come up with to use it for. If you have other parts that need to be held in place this certainly will do a good job of clamping it down and keeping it where you need it. And if you need more holding power, you just add more magnets. 
and that's the vice. And now we'll move on to the uh, steps that you can get with a with a, a kit. And these are simply a plastic piece, triangular shaped, to give you a nice 90 degree uh, surface. And then they're stepped, as you can see here. And in this case, I already have steps built into my ribs down here. So I really can't demonstrate pur purposely how this works. But when you're building a wing, you know, you have the uh, airfoil shape of what the wing's going to be. And of course, you have space here and space down here. But this, in this case, had the steps built in and those come off when you finish but in this but normally if you didn't have that you would use this device here and you would place it underneath here and as you can see this would form a step and hold this rib suspended and secure it so that you're not gonna rock this back and forth and misalign everything this creates a perfect wing jig for building and I know some people uh, ask is there something you could do for going through the holes drilled in the ribs because those are all aligned uh, and if you line them up they're all parallel to one another and that might be a tutorial or a video later on that we create that for this purpose if there's enough demand. Uh, finally we're going to move on to the last piece of this building system and that's a uh, hold down that secures a rib as well. Now, if you have some types of wings on the end, you might have a need to, to secure this underneath and it, would, and it would clamp the end of the rib like that. But in this case, there's not a need for it, but it certainly could be used on the other end and slid into place until you've come to a place where you can clamp the rib and secure it and that's going to allow you to align your rib with the plans properly and then hold it in place. And one final note about this building board system and that's that you can notice here in this on this sheet metal plate it has a grid system on it and it's actually done this for a reason. If you're going to do scratch building and you need to align your parts because you don't have a specific set of plans but you know how to lay it out you can line align your parts along that along these lines and allow yourself to build straight pieces from a scratch built uh set of plans that you have uh set up for a uh, for a build now this is called the mag magic magnet building board from uh, Great Plains. I don't think they make it anymore. I think it's discontinued. But um, I will be happy to put together a resource and set of instructions on how you can build your own. Uh, that's the magnetic system. And I, I'm going to start building the wing center section. These are actually the ribs <laughs> for that. And I'm going to be covering that next in the next video. Um, that's all for now. This is Carl Baer with HowToMakeRCAirplanes.com, and uh, thanks so much for, for watching. Uh, until the next video, thanks again. Bye.